talking about a summer of uncertainty um the other day was uh, tesla ai day and elon musk decided quite jokingly to unveil one of the most crazy things i've ever seen and something that i think maybe in yesteryear maybe a pre-covid year might have caused more of a ripple effect but because people are just about struggling to pay rent and keep the lights on and put food on their table and clothes on the kids back they don't really give a shit about a tesla bot but they should probably care about it because it's going to affect people in ways that we don't really consider at the moment we haven't really considered at the moment so this headlines from cnet it says elon musk unveils tesla bot a humanoid robot that uses vehicle ai it says the following i'm um, tesla ceo elon musk on thursday unveiled a humanoid robot called a tesla bot that runs on the same ai used by tesla's fleet of autonomous vehicles a functioning version of the robot didn't make an appearance during the musk um every reveal though a slightly bizarre dance by a performer dressed like a tesla bot did and that nearly caught me off guard i watched the entire thing i had it on the background i was dipping in and out and then towards the end he announces or he kind of wants to unveil this new thing and you see this flipping robot guy come out or guy or girl and kind of walk like a robot a little bit and quite quickly you realize when they start dancing it's a humanoid it's a human humanoid um but it, it was quite scary you're thinking nowhere has this guy built a, a fucking working prototype already you're like jesus it says here the unexpected reveal came at the end of tesla's ai day presentation with musk providing few details about the slightly creepy um slender man like robot beyond a few powerpoint slides the five foot eight inch robot is expected to weigh in about 125 pounds be built from lightweight materials he said um its head will be kitted out with an autopilot camera used by the tesla vehicles to sense the environment and will contain a screen for displaying information internally it'll be operating the tesla's full self-driving computer he said it's intended to be friendly and navigate through the world like humans the robot appears um appearance came after 90 minute presentation detailing some of the artificial intelligence upgrades um free slide detailing the robot's proposition proposed specification must make sure to point out that you could both outrun the tesla bot and outpower it um overpower it sorry he has in the past rallied against the use of robots as weapons and warned of the risk of ai might pose once calling it the biggest risk of the race in civilization i guess they're I guess if they're your incredibly slow eats the power robots, the dangers are reduced. Very true. He said he should be worried about AI. Must reiterate during the presentation and answer the session. The presentation, he says, what we're trying to do here at Tesla is make AI useful for people and uh, people love and is unequivocally good. One particular side about the Tesla bot would eliminate dangerous and repetitive boring jobs is the most important part. And must provide the example suggesting that the robot could be told to go to the store and get the following groceries. Um, that such, um, not that such a task is particularly dangerous, but you might find and repetitive and boring must prone to making bold statements about the future rift um a little on how he envisions tesla but changing the work too he says this i think will be quite profound essentially in the future physical work will be a choice if you want to do it you can but you need to but but you won't need to do it it's hard to say that so yeah so that was obviously the major part of it right in terms of getting rid of boring manual repetitive labor and it oddly made me think of the four hour work week and why I think the four hour work week gets a really bad rap. Tim Ferriss's monumental book, a book that I've read cover to cover maybe seven times i took a couple copies with me to nicaragua and left them in a hostel that i stayed in you know the kind of libraries that you use where they, you basically take a book and leave a book for like a traveler coming behind you and i thought in my opinion it was maybe one of the greatest books in terms of preparing us for the future of whatever we're in there now where it comes to fulfilled by amazon whether it comes for drop shipping whether it comes for people doing real estate whether it comes to people doing consulting online being influencers it's basically what we've it's basically what the world is basically turn into now at the moment where people are trying their darndest to get out the conventional nine to five because it allows them more freedom to do the things they enjoy and maybe to a lesser degree the fact that we've moved to a, a remote working kind of culture at the moment with covid specifically where you can effectively work from anywhere in the world as long as you've got internet connection it makes the need for you to work kind of boring repetitive manual labor jobs less but obviously if you need to work those jobs and that's the only thing you're qualified on you need to somehow supplement that wage or supplement that loss of income income and obviously that's where universal basic income comes in where essentially the government steps in and basically provides you with something more than universal credit than we have here you'll probably get more than that you'll probably get somewhere close to about 1500 whatever average you need in terms to living a somewhat all right life in london covering your rent and making sure you have a little bit of money to spend 
and then anything else you do on top of it will be just for pure joy enjoyment vocation or maybe to top up your skills or add a bit of money to your account but it's not necessary for you to work for instance you could have a universal basic income and maybe still be a bartender in a club because you want to be in that environment but you know having to rely specifically on a bartender salary work living in london will just be too much i mean you have to have maybe three or four jobs on the go to make that work so that's where universal basic income comes so that's where this is scary and then you look at it you know you zoom out a little bit and you think about what elon musk and what he wants to do with spacex and try and make you know um, humans a multi-planetary species and effectively make us colonize mars then you think of how you could use those robots in terms of setting up and building infrastructure before humans actually get there making sure you you know you're, you're preventing unnecessary loss of life you look at it again you expand it you think of the robot taxis that they were possibly trying to do and there was a lot of roadblocks that came in the way of that and cars imploding or running into stoplights whatever it may be maybe be having a humanoid robot form inside the driver's seat that can overtake and basically over what well, yeah, that can basically take over if the car does get into a bit of a kerfuffle that might be a thing and then you basically take that robot and extend it onto maybe the tesla semis that could be something as well you know there's a whole big scope for it but for sure what it does it does take away the need to have real humans work in factories in paying them wages allowing them to have breaks look at all the controversy with amazon and having people pissing in bottles in factories and stuff if jeff Bezos can get away with having an amazon fulfillment center be staffed majority by humanoids or by these kind of tesla bots that basically just work 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 then he would definitely do that but then again you're taking the possibility of people that work those jobs and support their family away from them so you have to supplement it so it's a crazy thing to see it's pretty incredible i like the fact that it actually looks looks like a human um it's a bit different to the Boston dynamic robots they have at the moment that look a little bit freakishly like kind of these weird animatronics kind of things i quite like it's got like a physical human form in that regard um i'm really curious to see if it they are able to make a working prototype it's all well and good having these powerpoints and slides but one thing that we do know about tesla or we do know about elon in general even though he doesn't maybe ship stuff when they should he does tend to like to present working prototypes or things that are close to working so maybe in terms of the disruption may cause and the fact that he's controversial he didn't want to present i don't really know but i wouldn't doubt that they could put together a working prototype that would blow our flipping socks off but it's quite scary i think no one can argue that it's not scary no one can argue that it's not going to take away a huge swath of employment and jobs out there but unfortunately this is where the future is heading in it and we all have to kind of strap on and get involved or be left in the doldrums that's what i think but hey what do i know